heard my dad say one time he got advice from an old gentleman when he started that this guy told him that you know the best thing you can do is to be honest in all your dealings that for every dollar you make by being dishonest you're going to lose ten so that the, the, the losses will be tenfold so if there was a doubt about anything you know you give the you give the other guy the benefit of the doubt give him go the extra mile to to give him the advantage instead of uh, trying to take advantage of it. Uh, Yoder Lumber's uh, been in existence since my dad started in '44, which is 70 years ago, and uh, it seems like a long time. But if you look back, it really doesn't seem like it is all that long. So we hope that with our relationship with customers that we've built over the years and continue to build, uh, go into the, you know, the fourth and fifth generation. In 75, we bought our, our location in Berlin from another uh, manufacturer. And uh, basically, we're interested in the dry kills that were there. We used the dry kills and, and leased the uh, manufacturing plant back to the previous owner. And he ran it for a couple of years, and we took, ended up taking that on and running the manufacturing plant there. And uh, that expanded, kept adding buildings and equipment and uh, to where it is today. My dad knew a buyer or a manager at Belton Brick, and he was having a hard time finding pallets and asked if we wouldn't want to make pallets for him. So we started on that and expanded, expanded that, and we were making pallets along with the sawmill till early 90s, mid 90s, something like that. Uh, we quit making pallets and concentrated more on, on just running sawmills. Then in 99 we ended up buying the uh, Buckhorn Yard from uh, CMAC Industries and uh, in the year 2000 we started up sawmills and, and running that and that has, you know, we've changed a lot there too since 2000. Uh, the last 14 years we've built a lot of buildings, added new equipment and, and uh, to where we are today. I remember when we started, we had maybe six or seven employees. Uh, over the years, we kept adding, and now we're probably up to around 190 employees. I think a lot of, a lot of customers uh, realize that most family businesses will pay more attention to detail than uh, like a publicly owned company or something like that. And it's not just a perception, it's usually true that that's the case because the family depends on its livelihood from that company as well as you know the employees that do the same. I think one of the things that spurs me on is realizing, you know, Eli mentioned earlier, 190 employees. You know, that's just not 190 people. Uh, there's some families, 10 people to a family. Uh, there's a lot of people that are relying on the, the sustenance of Yoder Lumber um, for their sustenance. And uh, that, that's something that's a big responsibility to make sure we, we keep that going for them as well. I think a big part of it is, is when we build a product or when we ship a product out to the customer and we put our logo on it, it the logo, the name on the logo is the family name. So what we send is representative of the family name. We have a long turnaround for timber growing. Been several people that we've gone back 10 years, 15 years later and, and harvested again because they, they liked the relationship we had with them. And, um, they trusted us and, and uh, we did what we said we would do. We don't know down the road what a, what a customer is going to turn into, whether they're buying one board today, they might end up opening a shop and buying a semi load down the road. So we want to make sure that they're satisfied with every transaction not just the guys that are buying 10 semi loads and not just the guys that are buying 500 feet. We want to make sure that everybody's satisfied. I think that's one of the things I've noticed uh, is it, it's not about the transaction, it's about the relationship from what I've been able to witness in the, in the organization. You know, the, the orders, it's not about an individual order, it's about the relationship with the customer.